I have created an event in which people must ask themselves, what am I willing to do to survive? And the sad truth is, not everyone can make it. Welcome to the largest post-apocalyptic roleplay airsoft event in the world. With over 840 players on day one, 700 on day two. This event proved very challenging to maneuver. Now every player gets a custom Rev 10 patch and a custom Rev 10 sticker, but what they really want is to win the Wasteland Survivor coin. To earn this, you must survive the Passover. You see, creatures are coming from other settlements in the Wasteland. And if they kill you in this game, you're out for the rest of the day. The only way to survive is in what's called a lamb unit that's powered by a reactor. And the sad truth is many will not make it. You can also get the coin by accomplishing all major achievement quests. And these are not easy. In this series, I take you on a journey of my attempt to survive. Even though the guns aren't real and there's no actual risk of death, the people and the decisions that they make are real. And you never know what to expect. Oh my God! Welcome to Swamp Sniper. In episode two of Rev 10 at Balahack Airsoft Field. In episode one, Nash and I head out into the waste to not die by these angel creatures. We find my nephew, Ian, and then we go to the Candyman, where we manage to buy a fusion reactor. There are only four of these units in the whole wasteland, and they're powered by fuel rods. We also need these cables from him to power and activate a lamb dome to protect us from the angels. He wants a unique item for it, so we head over to the wasteland art gallery, where the art lady says she'll trade an item for a book from the postman, who refuses to give us the book. I then quickly figure out that these guys and a bunch of other people are trying to trick me to meeting a group called the Rosvadians so they can execute me. This bounty hunter comes up, won't let me go, so Nash shoots him. Ah. Our reactor is now safely hidden in the bank, but these guys won't leave us alone and we're desperately trying to find a unique item. We spot a group carrying one of the Lamb Dome units, and I then make peace with the bounty hunter who tells me there's over 50 Rosvadians looking for me to capture me and keep me hostage all day. After Mo finds a stem pack for our crew, we try to escape town, and I have a pleasant surprise meeting Dr. Robertson. The energy <laughs> coming through you. I, I feel it. Right. Sir, what can I do? I need to bring something all, unique. Who, who are you? This is my laboratory. I, I feel this energy flowing through you, and to be honest with you, it's a little off-putting. He is brilliantly basing his character off of a Jeff Goldblum character from the show Portlandia, where a couple goes to buy a fancy knot from an artesian knot store. But the place was empty. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome to the uh, to the knot store. Okay. We also don't want to like pay a lot of money for one. I don't know how much. They well, go. you don't want to go too uh, too too low. I'll show you. If you go too low, you know you could wind up here. Look at this. Mm. Here's a. See this knot? There's there's nothing there. And if you get depressed. Oh, sir, don't. Yeah, but no, don't. Oh. Now, do you consider yourself more of a contemporary or more nostalgic of the past? Is she more is she more contemporary or more, you know, nostalgic and of the past? That one. I got it. I've got just the thing. thing for you. I, I just uh, where is that where is that thing? Yeah, where is that thing? Nancy! I know, stand by. Here's the same guy. Where's Nancy? Where 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 is that, Nancy? Where's Nancy? Hi. Uh, an artist. Oh my God! With <laughs> makes these by jamming them into his pocket. And an artist that we work with makes these by jamming them into his pocket. He pulls them out. You know they come out. They, they never they never come out. Yeah. You know? This is how they come out. What do you what do you think of that? And then he pulls it out. You know how you can, they never come out. This is how they come out. What do you think of that? I, I, I think it's absolutely great. I, yes. You know, you could pair this with a 
a rosé, or even a white burgundy. Thank you so much. Thank you. This needs to go to the candy man. We need those candles. Okay, I'll go get it. You'll get it? So now that we have the unique item, Chase is going to trade it for the cables, and then we have the reactor and the cables. Extremely valuable and valuable to our survival. But the Rosvadian guys are creeping up all around us. Nash, you see that? Awesome. Thank you. And I really want to talk to the guy that has a Lambdo. No, I said, you see that? Yeah. And then I said, here's a gun so you can defend your own life. <laughs> it's a little tense for a moment. Now, what are all these dudes doing? But Chase returns with the cables in his backpack. Did you get it? Oh. Thank you. Wait, does anyone know what happened to the angel that was up by the tent up there? Uh, I think they captured it and put it back in there. Yeah. Wait, how did they? Why don't you guys chill out? Yeah, yeah, can y'all like... Now pay attention to this guy. He knows what he's doing. Not only is he carrying an irradiated barrel, but he also has a Rev-9 patch, zombie patch, and a Fertile Crescent patch. So why is this important? It's not. All right. Okay, all right. We're going to go south with these guys. Dudes. We have one. Mo has one. Oh, he's looking for them. We'll be very lucky to make it out without running into the Rosvadians being captured. It's the bottom of the middle of the pond. It's the bottom of the middle of the pond. <laughs> oh, this guy. Why do you have your hands up? Do you feel guilty about something you're about to do? Bottom of the middle of the... And your best boy is just walking around like he doesn't even know you guys? Hmm. The bottom of the middle of the pond. It's the bottom of the middle of the pond. It's the bottom of the middle of the pond. If they're gonna try to kill my crew, now would be the time as we're so exposed. Their eyes are burning a hole in my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to engage in the open because that means we're people who are shooting, which means people will shoot us. Yeah, where'd they go? I thought they were crossing. That's good though, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Looks like the Rosvadians are falling a little behind and we'll so be able to hook up with perfect. the crew with the lamb kit so that maybe we can make an alliance. Dude, I, gave, I showed him the headphones. He said, what is this? I go, it's headphones on a stick. And he goes, deal. Here's our chance. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So what do you guys know of the domes? Uh, we just know that I acquired this by giving everything I had for it. And I know that it repels the creatures. That's what I asked the blood pit guy, but I didn't ask him anything else about it. Hey guys, we're talking to LZ. Did he have like, so he's got a dome. Is that set up to repel them? Look, look, uh, hold big, hold like, look at it. Here's the thing. We don't know how many domes kits it takes. We got three over there. Here. Wait, Wait you have three? We yeah. have three kits over there. We think it takes two to make one. But That's what I heard. Sure. So we, this is the second one paired to our kit. We're gonna have about 30 spots, and if you want to even consider getting close to that thing, you gotta talk to Big Macho over there. Look, you need a reactor to power it. I have a reactor hidden. Look, okay. No, I'm just letting we, you know that. Yeah, he has a reactor to power I'm saying we that's a power. big deal. Yeah, yes, but we, we're not in charge of it. You're cool. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I want you to know that, that I have a reason to work with you. You have a reason to work with me, potentially. I bought this lamp. I'm in charge right, of this one. Right, gotcha, gotcha. We need to have a private conversation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just saying a lot of stuff. Yeah. Come here. Get in on this. Come over where? Hey, stay and guard our lamp. Wait, where are we going? There's people with guns over here. Okay. Wait, how many people am I talking to? This us. We, we have, okay. we're, hey, we're in charge space. of our we're, okay. So I've been working with this whole entire time right now. And so what we got is we have a centrifuge, we have a lamb kit, and we have two power cells. We have now, one of the rods in our The issue is that, is that he's going to take whatever he wants over there because he has manpower. Who is he? Uh, big boss, huh? big boss he's got, he's got, he's got all the power. license plates on. He's usually got like the right armor on or whatever. Huh. He's got the, the people difficulty people. with that is that it's very fragile with the situation because we had the offer of five of our slots even Parker. They explained that the boss guy is kind of bossy and that it could be a difficult situation. So do you, does he have a reactor? 
No, he does not. Because there are only four. Okay. Period. Good. We then don't let him know and you have one. We have, have a reactor, and we do not have it on us. We'll team up. No, we have it very well hidden. How many people? How many people? Is that we don't have a manual? They have a manual. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They're building it for us. Turns out the Lamb Domes can only protect 15 people from the Angels. They have 10. I can bring my group down to 5, so we can then make a deal. I also inform them we have one of the jumper cables that are needed. They tell me that they have two fuel rods. I opened up my reactor. It takes 8. It takes 8, it takes eight to power it. Oh my god. Okay, so, but you're talking about the fuel rod, like small. Yeah, we have, we have to. Okay. We, have, we good? So Stay together. Don't say about our thing. You also need another this. reactor. We need, yeah, that's right. Another yeah. one. Not counting mine. Not, yep. Which means you need 16 fuel rods, not a reactor, and another cable. Just keep that in mind. But dude, if he better be cool with you guys, because if you guys are doing all this work for him... Yeah, we should be. Um, anything, I'm just saying, yep. for your own sake. Hey, flannels! Flannels! Well, we're gonna go check that out. Right. They don't... He doesn't know we have a reactor. He's supposedly like a power-hungry dude, and all the red bands are trigger-happy. And these dudes are doing all the work for them. But oh, like, the guy the said, even if you want to set it's Bernie set things. your equipment here, my men get five of your slots. That's what he was saying to those dudes. Mm. He's very greedy, he's very powerful, but we have what they need. Mm -hmm. So his little cute dude. Ideally we need six slots. For the record, we have both of what they need. How you doing? Um, I'm coming over here to talk to the big boss. Big man. Is he, isn't that what he's called, Big Boss? All right, so they've got a completed dome, which is really cool, but we're gonna see if we can talk our way in. We need a, we need a set of blues. So we have an extra set of blues. How you doing, sir? We have an extra set of blues. I'm Swamp. Clue. Clue? Very cool, everyone was calling you Big Boss. Is that actually a name, or they're just calling you Big Boss? They're just calling me Big Boss. All right, great. I see you've got a, uh, a dome going on. And it seems like you know stuff that you're looking for. Uh, maybe. But it looks like you've got a lot of people. And I have the things hidden that power this thing. Okay. Well. And I talked to some concerned people, concerned citizens of yours, maybe they're yours or not, that have been bringing this equipment that finalized this last two and they have a box of blue yeah. right here they're willing to trade for i have for... acquired it at the blood pit okay you can trade for red do you want to trade for a box of red i mean i want to get my group members that i brought with me in a safety as well but there's like 10 of us 10 or 11 of us big number and that's only a, that's the fill one dome almost I'm gonna chill back here. This is your conversation, but I look forward to talking to you. Sounds good. Okay. What, what, what did you talk to him about? We, we, we barely started talking, and then other people started talking. He seems very headstrong. Yes. We, and we found that I think he knows that he's in charge of this situation. Yeah, like, not for that long. With I, your bodies and my bodies, we should be okay. We should be okay. We, oh, no way. Look at all this. Are those, and I got my body. I thought only these guys in the center were his guys. Red tape are his guys. Everybody else is building. Sure. Um, yeah, well, and they've got a perimeter, maybe another four or five. You're right. Oh, look, in the recruiting. We're, 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 but there's we're, too many. I said we. Can, I, I think we should be able to take most. Of them. Should be able to what? Take it. Take out most. Bro, I'm thinking, bro. We have to take. You out gotta be stuff. careful with your words, man. <laughs> That's a really aggressive statement right now. Yo, Mr. Flannel's talking about just trying to kill all of them and take the stuff. Why did you bring them here? Bring who here? The lamb units. There are. Kiss is the only place we knew where to take them. We didn't know another spot. It's I know, here. but you don't bring it to a, 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 a tyrant, off, <laughs> which apparently time, time, that's time. what it seems first like. Off, too, Dude, this is gonna attract I everyone. Know, are you guys? I think it's a bad idea to have that I, other I, one built here. Why? Don't moving it. We're moving this thing around. If it's still yours, I think he thinks it's his. And well, now he's now he's talking about trading a red for a blue. How many does he have? Does he Look, have two? I don't know who's trading over there. You guys are losing yeah. control yeah. of your yeah. thing, yeah. in my opinion, because he's the other one. If you brought the other one, mm -hmm. right? He thinks it's his, and he's talking about right. trading it for the one you brought. Right. You guys get control of your dome, yeah. and I've out. got my stuff. Right. Run, pull okay, Run, pull just out. figure out. Run, pull out. Um, figure out if you can move it. If you do move it, we'll shadow you and protect okay. you to a right. different spot. All right, we're, okay. we're gonna talk to now. I propose the cannibal village. 
The, what, which one? The Cannibal Village, the other defendable area. Okay. Is that the Summer of the North? No. I don't know. It's on the west side of the pond. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. This is getting interesting. So I guess we're going to have to go somewhere else. I mean, if you can help me out with that. that we're going to help by shadowing you and providing security and making sure nobody tries to wipe you out and take it. All right. Thank you. Now, do you have two boxes yep. that you get to bring out of here? Uh, no. The, I, I, I know it's bad. I've talked to your leader a couple times and Did he you? will not. He wants to trade box for box. Okay. Go talk to Flannel. Go talk to Flannel. We got a big group coming for us. For us? From the temple. A guy in a red jacket and a guy in a white. The bounty hunter? He's the bounty personal bodyguard, and he's the one that said there's over 50 of them. He's got them split into 10 Dude, groups searching for you now, you and they want to the kill. They, pulled they want a conics box. The two of them came up next to me and was like, go to the conics box. I'm not going back in there. It's all the time, bro. You, like when he said, get in the conics box, I pulled in, and there was like 20 of them, and they were like, where's the swap side? <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> and Nash is over here changing up his look again. Exactly. His incognito change, I'm loving it, dude. Dude's on point. Yeah. So you guys can take both of those? Yes, we're taking both of them. Getting the <laughs> okay, you take both of them, right? Mm, this means you have to cross through Rosvadian territory. There's 50 Rosvadians coming for me and my crew. That all day they just want me alive oh, and they want to kill my crew. I haven't yeah. done anything to anyone. You haven't. You're not going to. Okay. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, it. <laughs> but I will still provide as much security as I okay. can and shadow you. Okay. Get those out. Yeah, we are. Get them to the cannibal village. Okay. Oh, see? Great. And now I see the Rosvadians forming a wall over here just waiting for me. Yeah, 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 you see? Yeah, so we're gonna have to slip around the right side. Yeah. Hey, well, they're gonna obviously see us. But... I, I, yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. thing though, here's the thing though. Okay, what is I'm just gonna get a couple snipers to go behind them and hey, pick them off. Still... Hey, make that happen so that we can exodus. Rosvadians have us kind of cornered in here. Mob boss dude is cool and is letting them move their dome unit out. We have what it takes to power the dome unit, which makes us very valuable and we're also very small. But there's too many people here, so we need to get the other dome away with the handful of dudes and our handful of dudes and work it out there. I would propose we go to the west side of the field for the Cannibal Village. But these dudes are trying to kill us. Finally, let's get out of here with these cases. Nash sets up the sniper team behind the enemy Rosvadians, and I'm slipping around the right side while flannel dudes start moving the lamb units. What's up? Um, I don't want to have to cut you off at some point. I found my way around. I'm allowed to roll with these people as long as I keep my group to five and I have six. So you can walk with us. Okay. Who are you with? Uh, I was with the Russians, but uh, they're gone. Okay. I'm going to have to say no, you cannot roll with us. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because if you were with the Rosvadians, that's n I'm sorry. Thank you. I just, I don't like this gap. Like, leading them? Because I don't know where we're going Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. And the group of Rosvadians see that we're leaving, and they start moving on us. We need to tell them to stop. All right, keep moving. Yo, he's, he's picking up at his pace. Hey, make them keep their distance. Few of them get hit by sniper fire, which slows them down. Hey, I don't see my guys. All right, keep it moving. If you're not carrying it, just keep it moving. Guys, we're gonna follow this yellow tape until we get to the next wood line, okay? Yes, sir. They're still trailing us from behind, and we're approaching the bus, which is the Rosvadians' base in front of us. Hey, hey, this is probably them. Like, we're going right into them right now. So we need to just take it easy. Just pass it through. Oh, if we could just safely make it across this space, we'll be safe on the other side. Bonjour. We're just passing through. Yeah, we they got posted up on the other side. Let's get four guys up front. Put suppressing fire. Hey, wait. How about we don't shoot? How about we don't shoot? That sounds like a better. Hold up. How about no shooting? We're bringing supplies over. We're, we're bringing supplies. I am very exposed. Yeah, we're just bringing supplies over. 
I told them to stop. They're stopping. They're at peace with you. We're just sitting up here, right? No, back in here. Yeah. Now the group that we told to stop shooting, we don't know them. They just stopped for us. So if they shoot, it's not us. Here we go. We're approaching the cannibal village, which is all the way over here. It should be defendable, but I'm just hoping that it's not already occupied. And to my pleasant surprise, there is literally no one here. <laughs> I can't believe we got that crap out of there, dude. <laughs> Into a smaller crowd, you know what I'm saying? The reason I'm playing it safe today and trying to win and survive from the angels is I won't let myself play on day two if they kill me. Sorry I haven't killed anyone yet, but my gosh, this is interesting to me. This is home, set up a defensive perimeter. Right here. Hey guys, defensive perimeter, also number control. You don't let, we can't have too many people coming here. We can't have people join. We can be friendly, but you can't have people join. You guys are heroes for carrying that. So do the reds mix with the blue? The reds mix with that's, the east. That's what it looks like. See, I didn't even know. Okay. But looking at the one they built, it was one so red how, and one blue set. Hey, right now, we have three more people that, than it can handle. That's reasonable. I mean, everyone here has the benefit of working together. Even if all of us can't make it, some of us can sacrifice. The point is, is we like, hey, these people, wait. Hey, boys, we don't want to be unfriendly, but we can't have anyone walking up right now. Right, ready? All right, so our people are gonna have to build this without a manual, and we're gonna have to make sure that no enemies raid the area, kill us all, and take control of the dome. If you're not doing anything, Back just get off. on the line. There's a lot of people walking up. I know, I know. It's also like there's a there's like things people need to explore. Oh, right, right. Like a, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, hey, what's up? Hold it. Hold it. So apparently there's a hollow disc with a QR code on this skeleton here that people are doing for quests. That's what I want to try to do on day two if I survive day one. There's a QR code over here that will let people scan if they want to scan it. Otherwise, we just need a little bit of privacy for a little bit. Yeah, you can scan it. It's right here. This is a project. It is project. They building this dome. Listen, pimp. <laughs> I want to take a second to thank those of you who are literally building this dome. Thank you. I think it's cool. I mean, it's awesome. Chase told me there was a guy with three fuel rods on him, so I sent him off to go kill him and retrieve them. I set my backpack down and go off in the woods to do the Lord's work. I turned off my camera and some dude came into the camp and shot five guys. But thankfully we killed them. All right, who did that? This guy. Just him, right? Oh my God, that was insane. I'm yeah, saying that random dude stuff. killed five of our people. Then some different dude rolls up. How you doing, sir? My name's Swamp. What? I know your name, Swamp. You carry a heavy reputation. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? This guy's name is Billy Baker, and he explains that he is working with the man in the purple coat and the goons at the Blood Pit Arena and they have three slots secured for them inside of that dome. What are you guys using? Fuel rods? Mm-hmm. When you saw your man going after some men, he lost it to the men that he stole it from. They killed him? Possibly. Oof, he knew Chase was our guy and that he was going after fuel rods, but got killed. Part of a group. He's gonna go back and tell them because now he knows we only have a few stims. They can come and assault us in mass. You have stims? That's okay. You only have a few stims? No, we got stims. We're good. It, it doesn't matter. We're in a defense. So what needs to happen is this defense needs to be more forward. Like we need to stop people at the front of the woodland. The issue is we're building a dome right next to a respawn. Oh, yeah, so yeah. enemies can like spawn and come, but it's three minutes at a time. It's our security at the front warns us that there's a large group of over 20 people coming for us. It's time to bust out my nemesis arms vanquish. No sanctuary! That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Get my 
What's this huge crew coming? I don't know. I don't know if this is filming or not. Possibly the greatest disappointment of the day is that my scope cam was having issues. Um, this is real life and I just went and like ruined your super sniper rifle in the wasteland. You'd be like, oh, my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Are we attracting angels by shooting all these people? Oh no. Well, maybe at some point. I don't know how, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. I'll tell you what, Yo. I'll tell you what would not be cool. What? We get it built, we get it activated, and like, there's just two. The force attacks us, and I'm so sorry that my scope cam footage is not working because I get some pretty good kills in this. We just lost a couple dudes. We're holding out there. There's a Watch bunch of dead people. Watch everyone from Learn from this, people. Also, don't ever turn a blind eye to that spawn. Yeah, they're in the ditch on the left side. Watch it, mate. Seems we killed most of them and scared off the rest. I don't know who this house like that is, but he's helping build. I know, but that's an added body. Okay, well, it's an added body. It's dead right outside of the dome. Well, where you did, you, you know what? <laughs> he's like, I'm coming in. <laughs> Shotgun. No, you know what this is going to turn into? It's like two thirds of us are gonna be safe inside it. It's gonna be the scene from the office where we're like. <laughs> an angel's gonna come up, right? No, an angel's gonna come up. Everyone's gonna be running circles around and trying to avoid angel. And then a second angel's gonna come and they're just gonna close in and kill them. We're gonna watch people die or we're gonna die ourselves. Um, we're gonna make sure that we get fuel rods and we're going to make sure that our reactor is secure. Okay, and you said that, did those guys get the free fuel rods? He didn't. Someone else that walked up said he saw it, he killed them, he took it, and then somehow their group killed him and took it back. We need generator. We need generator, right? Yeah, yeah. Have one. I have one. You have one. Okay, cool. Right. Is it on site? No, it's, you mean it's physically on, here? Like anywhere. Well, like, is your no, stash no, no. Like, yeah, yeah. No, the stash out. The stash, the stash is the stash on site. Yeah, on the field? Like this site right no, now. No, no, no we back. need to go yeah. get it. Okay, the well, other we thing is the alone. cables that connect the reactor uh -huh. is in oh. Chase's that, right? backpack. Oh, Chase is the one that we sent out. Oh my God, we should have made, we should have hidden the cables here. Why, yeah. Because they could be like, Chase yo, you got cables? Okay. They could right. rob. They could rob Wait, Chase. Chase is by himself Chase? with one of the important components. Chase, once Chase comes back, we need to get him, and we need to go get our right, things. We need. We to, I think we need to go now. We need two guys around. Go look for fuel rods. All right. Okay. Are we you can keep everybody you guys, hey, out, you right? guys look for fuel, fuel rods. rods. Okay. If we come across fuel rods, we'll collect them. Okay. But our main goal is to make sure that we have easy access to getting that reactor yeah. over here and yeah, activated, yeah, as well as the um, the cable. Yo, yeah, what's up? Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know there was a bit of iffy stuff earlier. Well, you were with the Rosvalians, right? At one point, yeah. I kind of left them a couple hours ago. Kind of left them? You know Nash is ready to blow a hole through this guy if he needs to. I mean, He's you know what they were trying to do to me. I know what they were trying to do. Yeah. At, at first, it seemed you like a funny idea, but then I was like, no, it's not cool to humiliate yeah. you like that. Okay, so, so yeah. You guys have got a really decent rig. A good spot. We do. Yeah. And I almost feel like you're not one of those people I know. if you were part of the Rosvadians. But if you prove yourself, you know, if you get us some fuel rods and stuff. Honestly, 100 caps. That's what they offered for your head. 
Figuratively, of course. A hundred caps. Old caps? White caps? Jeez. So yeah, but they need. The radical Rosvadian. Gotcha. Who and is the no. Who is the radical Rosvadian? Have you seen a guy in white, black, and gray camo pants? That's him. He talks in a Russian accent all the time. Huh? Did you hear that? Nope. White, black, gray camo pants. That's the radical Rosvadian that like wants me. They've been eyeing us down. One of those just probed us. I turned them away. No sanctuary. Oh, some men cats? What are they? Candy. Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, thank God. I have Sweet Chase returns, but I hope he has the cables. I just only, I wish that you came with Mo. You got one? I have three. Okay, great. Wait, do you watch? Yes. Okay. Awesome. They're, they what have a, three? they have a spot where they're stashing them. So that means we have five. And we, we need, need three more. I can get three more. We have to kill, uh, you saw the kids. Big man. He's talking about Billy. The guy in the oh, yeah, do you want me to no. lead you to the radical Rosvadian? No. No, I can get in there and kill him. He's not talking about him. Well, I can still get in there and kill him. Okay, you can kill him, but we need fuel rods and I need to make sure our assets are good. At one point in I need to talk to you. Actually, come here. You got the key. Yes. In your backpack. If anyone were to kill you and say, Hey, do you have a cable? You'd have to give it up. Why don't you go take a leak over there? Okay. I mean, you know, but wouldn't that be so stupid? We're like all here, we're like, it's not. Hey, Jason, go take a <laughs> <laughs> But can you imagine it comes down to it? And he's like, they killed <laughs> We're all inside there, and the angels are coming in to kill us. Not gonna lie, like, that would happen. And I would forget this is a game. I start to beat the crap out of the angel. Were you one of those kids that if you got scared, you immediately attacked? <laughs> I can go get some of my fun, but we're supposed hey, to look, be oh, thank you. I know God. you want to prove yourself, okay? You were kind of shifty in the beginning. Go get us some fuel rods and we'll see That's what, what I'm trying do. to do. Go, go do get them. Yeah. Go get them, bring them back. Prove yourself. First. You got to prove yourself. Yeah, man. It's not like Facebook. You can't just friend request people. Well, I get to go and do it. What? <laughs> Go, get him. Prove yourself. What's good? Not much, man. Not much. You, get, you getting fuel rods or anything? Or I got another case. Oh, are you freaking? <laughs> come weird? over here, yo. Come here. Come over here. No way. He's talking about a reactor. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, just so you know, I uh, won the game for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I hit it. Oh, here's the problem. It's where it's at. It's at the LZ. He's talking about back at this place run by Clue with his massive army. Ah. Oh. Here's the problem. He, no, it's past the LZ. Wait, did you steal it from the big boss? Yeah. And did you hit it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, look, this backpack can carry it. We can just stuff it in here. That's why I just uh, emptied it all out. Oh. But here's the problem. Yeah, like, for example, let's say you disappeared again, right? Oh, that's two Jay. Oh, eight of them? Nah, I think there's four. Oh, but that's fine. That's great, because we have five now. Dude, okay, look. Us three will go on a it's mission. It's so nerdy, I haven't even shot anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we gotta go get that thing, though. We got less than that. We got an hour. I see you bring Christopher. No, no. They're all gonna go towards Christopher while we get the You gotta take off. one for the team. Because it was hard enough. Yeah, and then just I literally there. stood around there for like 20 minutes waiting for them to like make a single like turn. That's why I've been this whole time. And I couldn't. Ian, come here. Oh. Ian, forgotten weapons. <laughs> turn, turn around. What? It's not. That's not. It's not big enough. Nash, yours one. isn't big enough. No, yes, it is. I don't There's think so. no way I'm gonna walk out of there with it. Like, I don't big case. I, I can... Okay, well, we at least want the rods. Alright. Should I just go there, open it up? You have the information of where it is. That is hugely valuable. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it, did you Maybe that could get like, hey, you all wanna survive? Give me all your red caps. You know, something like that. You can get 10 red caps, trade it, you get the coin. So okay. What do you want me to do with the three rods that I have? Yeah, wow, we really don't have much time. Oh, the three rods? Yeah, uh, three rods. Our dudes are stashing them. Where'd you hide that thing? It's fine. It's like near the tape line under like this other brush. I don't know where it is. You want to me? Okay, I know you know where it is, but okay, you're going to be. Go I'll go show you. Yeah, go show them. This will be a red Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really know if I could trust you, no offense, but I do know someone at the bar. 
Oh, okay. Just, just a singular one at the moment, but I know we got, single We just got to, hey guys, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Quick, quick thing, one of my guys got another reactor, but it's not physically here, and it's trapped behind the LZ, which is where big, big boss big and stuff okay. is, okay? Right. But it has four fuel rods in it. It's, so what we, we have is we have that one? information. We'll take the fuel rods, because he can't get out of there with it. But we'll take the fuel rods, and then we have that information as to where it is. Okay. Don't hey, thank you guys for building shot. this. Like gonna yeah. We're going to go get one of our two reactors. Yeah, We're going to try to use the other one to make sure we get enough fuel rods and anything that we need. All right. You want us to keep building while you do that? Please. All right. Um, we have like... The only way to win. We have like... Just a, an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes before the angels. Yeah. <sighs> All right. What, what do you, do you, need, you need us to get to the housing right now and grab it and steal it. Yeah, yeah, right there. Right here, do you right think here. you can? Easily. Oh, just the fuel rods. You're talking to Diet Nash here. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're the only person that the banker knows. Yeah. We made the deal with. If I walked up and I was like, hey, my boy Chase Papa, he might be like, no. No, yeah. But the case, it's only the case. Can we, can, uh, we need something to shove the case into. I can put it in my uh, Anybody got a big trash bag on them? Oh, snap. We got, we got to carry the thing back here without it being too obvious. This, no, this is cut open. What about this one? Did you check it? No. What are we looking for? Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it, I got it. Is that how you're taking out the fuel? No, this is how we're gonna bring our reactor back here. The reactor's like this big. We just got a message. The families are organizing an assault on a dome. On so, a dome, our dome. Or wait, dome. the families? Our dome or Might one of their LZ. houses. But I know there was a guy with a red huh. strip. That's Could be an opportunity. The... You give the fuel rods to him now. Pat, you pass it. I have it, I have it. Okay. There's dash. I you have five. I have five. If we get the four from there, we nine. We're good, but right. we have to make it back with the reactor. We need to go. We need to rock it. We need to go. I'm yeah. preparing. So Get we're going to the bank first, then the LZ. Uh, I, the LZ no oh, sanctuary. Yeah. Ideally, we don't want to carry that for any further distance. Then we should. What's wrong? What's going on? Everybody, chill. Yo, I'm not chill. There's a bunch of people right there. Yeah. Why? We were standing up in the tower and we heard a lot of people say, look for Swamp Sniper, look for Swamp Sniper. Oh. They're putting a bounty on your head, it sounds like. Okay. So, he just figured that you were on hill, he said. Okay, thank you. We told them you were headed the other way. Yep. They just announced publicly in the town that they're putting a bounty on my head. That's like, come on guys, like, put a bounty on me if I did something in the game, you know? Brother, yes. What's it gonna cost me? Your man. Oh. What man? Your man. No. All right, no, well, Chris. take it easy. Take it easy. What's Chris, it? What's I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, I know you tried to kill them. I didn't try to kill them. I, look, I don't need them if it means like you're gonna shed blood, okay? I really do need those, but not if you're no, gonna I, shed blood. I want like, let's just be chill. I'll give you, your beef. you didn't give that to him? Whoa, 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 whoa. You were supposed to give that to him. I've been in his town the whole time. Give what to me? You, Bro! You just walked next to him from where? What's going on? What's going on with this guy? <laughs> well, I. The reason why he doesn't have Chase is because he shot a goon who we have an alliance with. Oh, with I was one wondering of, what with, happened. With one of my guys who puts us in a predicament of endgame. So I had to get some more. And then when... Go do that thing, man. If I get shot, I get shot. You're not going to get shot. Yeah, yeah. No, I, not. Dude, I haven't been no. north of the hey. tower. I haven't been Don't to the COV. Shot, no. I've literally just been to the south of the tower right here. Go. Yes, you do. I, go, thank go. You. Thank you. I got he is gutless. He didn't even want to fight me. Oh, Lord. For the for arm. But here you go. You just can't give him any? Well, I he need, caused a I, problem. He took Connor to shoot a goon. I need three. Well, I've got two. That is a huge help. But, but I don't have a spot for you. But you're good, I, we, we're right? We're secure. Okay. We're secure. Okay. But he complicated our security with goon. So I had to eliminate him, give the fuel rods back. Find a way to get fuel rods for you so you can end game. 
I don't need a tear. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you, thank you. We've been thank killing you. people all day. I haven't killed a single person. I, I shot a guy because I said excuse me and he didn't. Oh, oh. he broke your sh Bro. <laughs> so. This dude was kind enough to just let me shoot him. Mo, stem. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> there, people got an action packed YouTube video now. Dude, I just broke that thing or something. Hey, I want to go to the COB. I haven't been anywhere yet in this game. It's so he's got, weird. He's got more fuel rough. The entire, like, tower yeah. to kill you or something. I, you know, I know. Oh, uh, the... COB should be kind of chill, though, right? Maybe. I've literally, this whole game, we've just been stuck in corners. That's the guys it. guys with the pink armband. The family is what they're called. Oh, they're... They were going to raid you guys. Hey, can you guys walk me to the COB? Yeah. Is the Ross Vadian still around doing his thing? Yeah, there's some Ross Vadian doing. All right, so I am thankful that these guys are so chill and they're providing security for me so I can get over to the COV. Meanwhile, in the town, the bartender gives free caps to the people and a group wearing pink armbands called the family is rising to power. Chase and Nash then go to the bank to try to get the reactor, but the banker's not home. Think he went into the tower? Okay. Or upstairs. He, he told you about the thing under the... Mm -hmm. We need that now. <laughs> and we need to put it in a bag and make it skid out of it. It's a bit What now? Right now. Is, is that okay with you? I have to pass Andy. Yeah, Can you yeah, just make an executive decision yes. yourself? Because Andy said he keep it. And he said, yeah, I can get it anytime I want. I'm getting a little nervous, walking straight through the Rosvadians' territory again, and without my regular crew. Yeah, they're looking at me. They're all looking at me. It's gonna be so annoying. Well, it is because they're like, bounty, bounties, and people, and they want me alive in public execution. I'm like, yeah. but I haven't done anything in the, in the game. <laughs> like, let me do something dumb or bad, or betray someone, or ignore someone in the game. Alive. Looks like I made it safely to the COV, and I'm hoping to find Skittles. But I find someone else instead. Have you seen a guy in white, black, and gray camo pants? Oh my god. It's him. I am the Red Ross Bodian. Drop it. And I walked right into the hornet's nest. This is not a place I want to be, especially without my crew. Will we get our reactor back? Will I be held hostage? Will we finish building our dome and will we survive from the angels? All of this you can find out in episode three of Rev 10 at Balahat Gersov. Well, awesome, so thank you so much. Balahat. Yeah, we're gonna be out here tomorrow. Uh, how, <laughs> <laughs> how was it? It was awesome. Oh my God! All right, look, I know that you really want to see Kermit die, um, but you need to ask yourself, what does that say about you as a person? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my dog, Thanos. He's awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching these videos um, and that it can be, you know, I'm telling all of it. I would just do a shorter version with the juicy parts. But really, it builds up, and you I think you get to feel what I feel uh, during the event when I do it like this. So thanks for your support. Um, my field has been closed down for a month and a half now-ish, and we've lost a ton of our business. Um, but we're hanging in there, and you guys can support us or me by shopping on balahackairsoft.com. I've got some cool packages coming up, which it's like the best starter AEG package and like the best upgraded AEG package. You'll wanna check those out. But ultimately, um, I just hope that you guys are hanging in there during this time. I know it's very, very difficult for a lot of people. And I know that a lot of lives are being lost. So my heart goes out to you guys, hang in there. And um, we just hope for normality to come soon. And I can't wait to get more events back up and kicking out here to give people that stress relief and that sense of community and friendship and fun. So thanks for watching Swamp Sniper. As always, uh, thanks for subscribing. We've got a lot of new subscribers. Thank you guys. Welcome aboard. Get ready for some cool, fun, nerdy stuff. And what? Yeah, whatever you do in life, stay safe. Enjoy it. And peace. Peace.